Hello guys, it's me Karen, your Master Baker. I'm here again to show you guys how I made this beautiful cake. I saw this picture of Regina King and I just had to make it into a cake. I thought, oh my goodness, that's a wonderful idea. So stay tuned. Everything inspires me to make a cake. So I look at it and go, what would that look like as a cake? Or if somebody asked me to make that into a cake, could I do it? And that's when I start. Um, this is the doll I found so after I um, saw the cake online I had to find a doll that kind of had you know the hair like hers so she has like a, a tremendous beautiful afro I found this online and I was really amazed it was pretty inexpensive I think I paid like seven or eight dollars for it but here she is and she has this amazing hair. This hair is just like uh, Regina had her hair on that picture. So this was amazing. So I started out by baking four pans of my chocolate chip butter cake and mixing up a bowl of my buttercream flavored with cookie butter. So I went um, ahead and cut the centers out and I'll show that'll show um, in the video. I just took a round cookie cutter. I made sure it was the right size, you know, to fit around the doll's hips and, and everything here because, you know, I wanted her to be able to fit down inside the cake. So once I got those cut out, I was able to stack them. filling I chose for that for that chocolate chip cake was amazing. I added um, cookie butter to my buttercream. with that and then after I got it all crumb coated I put it um, into the freezer and came back and put on a layer of chocolate ganache I use milk chocolate this time I usually use a dark chocolate I just I just like it better but this time I use milk chocolate It was like a royal blue, red, uh, teal, uh, with these um, amazing like finger like le um, leaves, I guess you would say, palms on it. So I cut um, those shapes out. I happened to have a cutter in that shape. So I went ahead and cut those out and just pressed them into the blue fondant, just like, um, um, just like the dress.
scraped around and I went back in and I um, uh, used a little, I think it was a little tie, a twist tie and looped that around and attached that to the side of her head for earrings. And I also added a um, crown, just a little piece of uh, modeling chocolate that I shaped um, into the shape of a crown then painted it with gold uh, luster paint uh, added uh, took the luster dust and added it to some food grade alcohol and just painted that on and then um, slipped that on her head so it wasn't a really hard cake to make it you know of course it takes time with all the cutting out shapes and everything and baking and so forth but in the end, it really, it really, I was really proud of that cake. It Please don't miss Auntie. She shows up every week, ready for a piece of cake and full of surprises. So uh, thank you guys for watching and I um, hope you guys subscribe, like my video. So upset. Just left my niece's house and was no cake left. No cake on Sunday. But why would she do that to me? Why would she do that to me? I came home, talked to Maxwell, and asked him, you know, why she, why would she do me like that? I said, sit up there and let that fat boy eat all my cake up. Ain't right. It just ain't right. Came home to pray on her. Pray about it. She could have <laughs> some peace in my heart. I sure wanted me a piece of cake though. <laughs> so I just found out that Auntie came over to get a piece of cake and it was all gone. I heard she left in a hurry. She was so upset and I'm over here now to try to calm her down. So wish me luck. Hello. Hello, Auntie. It's me, Karen. Just want to see what you're doing. Oh, no, nothing. Just sitting up here reading my Bible and praying. I just came to let you know I'm going to bake you another cake and I'll have it ready in about two hours. Two hours? Okay. Okay. I'll see you in a little bit, baby. Okay, I'm so sorry about what happened, and I'll call you as soon as everything's ready, okay? <laughs> two hours. I got to wait two hours for some cake. <laughs> I got a mind just to not go back over there. What if I don't want no cake in two hours? <laughs> 